like I saw the movie in a new way today, the whole yeah. story. I mean, I love the stage show, yeah. obviously, not to take anything away from what people have done on stage. I've always felt it's such a bigger story yeah. that needs, you know, locations and sets yeah. and, and all the whole thing. You know, so many people love the stage musical. Well, we kept hearing it all the time. 56 million people have seen it, you know, but Tom was always like, okay, that's great, but we have an opportunity with film to do things that you can't do on stage. Obviously on stage, there's that live performance, there's a chance to of do course. things there, but you know, we need to maximize what we have and mm. let's see the, the travel of time. Let's see the location. Let's see what it's like being a prisoner. Mm. Let's feel Valjean's journey out. Let's, all of that stuff. And I think he just, the cinematography, everything, costumes, the way he, the backdrop of the French Revolution, mm. it, I think he maximized the filmic you know, assets. And by definition of it being a film, you did have to go back a little bit to the original story to yeah. to sort of fill some gaps in that might, you know, go down okay on stage, but in yeah. a film, yeah. you need to... Well, you know, it, they ask him to over a little bit mm. on stage. Which is fine. But which, this you know, is and it's natural. About this. But here, yeah. For example, the transformation of Valjean. I mean, on stage, he puts on a little beard yeah. and three minutes later he comes out and the beard's gone. <laughs> and it's, you know... Yeah. But you know, Tom was like, mate, I need you to lose a lot of weight. I need you to be gaunt. I need your friends to say, are you sick? What's the matter? He goes, I want it. I want all of that. Then you can put it on again. And Or Anne had lost yeah, well, 14 pounds, a stone. Yeah, and, and she's, I read that she did it by um, a diet of two dried oatmeal sheets, a p paste sheets a day or something. Like, yeah. it you tell her that's not how you make porridge? <laughs> <laughs> this is not porridge. This is not porridge. Um, no, I mean, she was, she was unbelievably crazy. disciplined about it. She had someone there to help her. <laughs> and it was the one. I, I, no, I've never seen a diet like it. It was literally <laughs> like, here's your one and a half raisins. It was bad enough that she got the hair cut off. You know, she did I the know. whole thing. She's, I've oh, but she was. I was amazing. in the makeup sort of room with her when mm. she was having the consultation because the hair is cut on film. Mm, that were real so, tears. Oh, when that yeah. hair was coming off. And so it's actually her hairdresser who's a man <laughs> in a dress, if you watch closely. There's <laughs> really? some serious man hands coming on Oh, there. so she did have some stipulation. Well, no, that was the director because the <laughs> okay. director said, I, I've actually got to have it look, because that look <laughs> exists for the rest of the thing. So I've got to have it look right. Uh, so he cut it and she goes, yeah, but if you actually cut my scalp, feel go for it because it'd be great to have that blood. And I'm now I have a, a similar nuts. haircut at the beginning. <laughs> yes, you do. And I was like, I said, mm. just for the record, I want makeup. I've seen that haircut on some footballers. <laughs> yeah, now, right. by comparison, Russell looks like he's eaten everything at the catering table so that you oh, guys... No, I mean that just by comparison. He's a wonderful Javert. He's amazing. Because he seems to really get where Javert's coming from and Russell plays, you know, um, sort of conflicted yes. really well. Well, he's just got such strength, yeah. such, um, you know, uh, presence. Mm that when Javert, Javert has to feel like the constant watcher, like mm. he's there all the time, and he just brings that. Mm. You know, he doesn't have to try. He doesn't have to put on authority. He's just naturally got it. Mm. And he solved what I think I've never seen solved before, which is the... No, I don't want to give it away. No. But that ending, he really solved that ending. Mm. The, conf the conflicted... Yeah. Uh, what, what would lead him to do that, you know? Yeah. Which had never really been solved completely, and he did that, and, and he added some incredible parts to the movie. Yeah. So uh, the pe the collective pedigree of the people at the helm of this film mm. is amazing. I mean, mm. Tom Hooper, yeah. King's Speech, won an Academy Award. There's Academy Awards all through it. Yeah. So, of course, people are already saying, I mean, it's already trending on Twitter, you know, using the term Oscar contender about this film in every sentence. Do you find that flattering or mildly annoying? when people immediately jump to that Oscar speculation and that's all they want to talk about. Oh, no. I I don't, mean, it doesn't annoying. annoy me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, that's just the currency nowadays for saying it's a good movie. You know, yes. but it, it's uh, so, you know, maybe in years gone past, I go, oh, this is four stars. Or five, I, I think it's great. It's because, but but it naturally, if you go for something that has that much history and kind of pedigree the victor hugo mm, the mm -hmm. most successful musical of all time all these things mm. and if you think about it it is a great old hollywood type of movie it's epic and it's timeless. sweeping it's timeless it's still relevant today exactly it's big so yeah. there will always be that is it or isn't it you know that'll we'll see yeah. that come but i think it is definitely a movie that 
sits in the world Definitely. nowadays. It's that kind of old school movie. So if, if it is that, great. And I believe, okay, I believe you um, broke with tradition with doing all the songs live on set. Yes. Whereas normally uh, that's pre-recorded in a studio. Yeah, and yeah. So what actors are usually lip-syncing when mm. you couldn't lip-sync? Maybe it's... Imagine well, that's sort Britney of Britney Spears as Cossack if you were <laughs> going to do that. There's no way Anne Hathaway could have done that as a lip sync. Exactly. Yeah. You wouldn't have or got that performance, nor would you have one shot on her. And nor, look, Anne is an incredible singer. She could do it that way and be great. But what it gave her was the freedom, and all of us, the freedom just to be spontaneous and to really be there and not to sing, mm. but to feel. Feel the moment and feel the words and just to be there rather than... Mm to try and remember what you did three months ago in a sterile sound exactly. booth with no one else around. Yeah. Exactly. You'd be all busy trying to remember that rather than being in the it moment. It comes a little more about the sound of the I song. I want to ask you one more question Shoot. before we get up. Uh, back to that amazing statistic, which I thought was 60 million people have seen it on stage, but 56 yes. isn't too I bad. I think 600 million. Does <laughs> 60 million is good. Are you excited about the fact that now it's a film, a whole new audience is going to discover the story? Oh, yeah. I For mean, Cameron McIntosh is... Been had this on for 27 years, and he's wanted to make a film yeah. uh, for a long time. He did a deal with TriStar 25 years ago. The film didn't work out. But, of course, uh, I'm, from, I'm from the school. If there's something good, tell everyone about it. So, yeah. absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> if the movie's good, I'd love everyone to see it. Well, I'm glad that he waited until he got all the, the right elements because too. it is really, <laughs> really fantastic. Thank but you. You know you made us all cry. Oh. I had to leave the lights good. up for ages. <laughs>